Hey guys, in today's video, I have a nail of the day and today's nail of the day is wearing All Daisy Long from Essie. This one has a pearl finish, so it's a pearl white. It's not only a pearl in finish, but also in color because it has these shifting little properties in it. So it shifts, it's depending on the light that's hitting it. It looks kind of pink peach. Then you get a little bit of green. A hint of blue that I see in the bottle, I don't capture on the nails really. And then I also get quite a bit of yellow. So let me talk about the shifting properties really quick here. Because in person, they are way more obvious, I feel, that than I can capture in video or in pictures. And they're more constant than what you see here. Here, straight on, it just looks like a pearl white polish. Not a lot of interest, but I'm seeing a little bit more color than you are. Um, I don't mind the shifting. I think my least favorite is when it shifts to the yellow. And I get that a lot, like in my, I don't know, parts of my balcony and even, um, in my restroom mainly. And it's not a very flattering yellow shift or like a cool shift. I feel like it makes the manicure look really dirty. So I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. Next, let's talk about formula. So this has a much thinner formulation. This bottle did come with the old Essie brush. I did switch it to a wider brush. So um, the brushes that I mentioned in my recent haul, I'll link that up in the cards for you guys to check out. I got those at Glisten and Glow. And with the wider brush, I've never tried this with a thinner brush, but with the wider brush, I feel like it helped in a sense because it covers a larger portion of my nails. And so I didn't have to do as many strokes. I did still have to be careful because this has a pearl finish. It, you do get brush strokes. So you can be either be extra careful with application or just sponge on the last, um, the last coat. So I do feel like the wider brush helped with that. Um, you can get it opaque at three coats and I mean okay, opaque, you know, within quotations because you can slightly see the nail line, but it's not super obvious because of the finish of this polish. For me though, because I have major ridges on my middle finger and my thumb especially, I needed an additional coat. So that makes it four coats. I make exceptions with four coat polishes, but they have to meet some criteria, right? So this one has a thinner formula. I require for coats. I wouldn't have a problem with that if it dried pretty quick. And this does not. <laughs> it takes a while for it to dry. It was kind of surprising to me because the formula is so thin. I expected um, the coats to dry pretty quickly. The first coat dries pretty fast but once you start adding two three and then even four coats as even if they are thinner layers that I'm applying it still takes a while for it to dry so I'm not a fan of that um I just I don't know I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of that so all right so let's move on to the polish that I'm wearing on my ring finger here this is going to be a much longer nail of the day than I normally do but I have a couple polishes to talk about okay on my ring finger I have uh, Salon Perfect. This is called Mother of Pearl, and this is an iridescent chunky glitter. So you get, you see all those colors. You get that quite a bit on the nails, and it looks really, really pretty. I didn't top this over anything. I just added three coats of this guy. I am actually down to here with this polish, and <laughs> it's kind of surprised because I think I've used this no more. This would be my third time using it. And so a lot of the base has just reduced in this bottle. Um, so there's a little bit of base and a lot of glitter. That makes it a little, a little bit tricky with application. I did have to manipulate the glitter onto the nail. It wasn't overly difficult, um, I, but it's something that I wanted to mention just to get an even glitter distribution on the nails. It still didn't take a long time to dry though, because there's a lot of glitter in this. This does is this is going to stick to the nail though. So I know removal process is going to be a bit of a pain. And then for um, the top coat, or actually, by the way, the glitters from this polish, they do tend to stick out as you're dragging the polish or applying it on the nails. So you just want to kind of push them back so that this is not rough or textured, as well as some glitters who tend to want to stick up. Okay, so 
top coat that I'm wearing today. This is my first time actually applying this guy. This is from Salon Perfect. It's the plumping gel. What is it called? Gel effect top coat. No UV. So it's not a real um, gel polish. It's just a thicker uh, glossy top coat, I guess I can say. It's kind of as thick, maybe even slightly thicker than the INM out the door, but much less thin if you're familiar with the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Gel Top Coat. It's th it's thicker in consistency than that one. So about the same as the INM, but thicker than the Sally Hansen Gel Top Coat. Uh, good glossiness. I can't really tell much because of the finish of this polish. So I'm going to have to try this guy over. I prefer trying these guys with like a glitter, a dense glitter polish with my, maybe micro glitters or something like that. I can really see if this is going to hold up its glossiness. I'll also try it over a, a cream polish next time and then test out how long the, the nails stay, stay glossy. But so far, really good. It did smooth out this particular nail here a little bit more and it does take a while to dry um so that kind of annoyed me a little bit because i already had the four coats of all daisy long and wait around for that to dry and then when i put this guy on i didn't think things through apparently and then it, i needed to let this dry quite a bit so this is not a fast drying top coat it doesn't claim to be i just wanted to mention that okay so i think i've mentioned everything that i wanted to mention it's a very long nail of the day um I want to love this. I just don't love it. I'm not. I don't know. It looks like a bridal something. <laughs> like a bridal manicure almost. And I'm just not sure if I'm feeling it. I really wanted to love it though because I love white nails. And because it's had the shifting, I just thought it was going to be way more interesting. And it is interesting. I just, I guess I thought I was going to love it more than I actually love it. So I'm going to wear it for a couple of days and see how I do. And just, I don't know. All right. I think I'm going to leave it there because I have nothing else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is a very long nail of the day video, but we had a couple polishes to talk about plus a top coat. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.